once again, we uh, had an opportunity last week to be joined by uh, some beautiful ladies with some beautiful crowns. And the Miss International pageant is coming to Jacksonville. Wonderful. And so we have Miss Teen and Miss International 2015. So we have Jules and Elise. And so first of all, congratulations. I know you had a full year now experiencing this. What has it been like? It's I been surreal. Need. It's definitely been busy with school because I was taking college classes and honors classes, but I found my time management and I studied hard to keep my GPA up. Okay, and Elise? Same. It's just been a full year. I still work full time as a therapist and I would travel during um, my off times, but it's been incredible what God has done through this year. One of the things we learned last week with Mrs. International is that this pageant really focuses on you having a philanthropy, something that you kind of use as your platform. So let's ask each of you which, what you had. So my platform that I created is Be a Volunteer, Make Your Mark Through Community Service. So it was very broad, so I got to do a lot this year with different charities. My favorite charity is Ronald McDonald House, so I got to visit seven chapters in seven different states. So it was definitely a blessing. Annalise? My platform was Healthy Mind, Successful Life, so I actually was able to travel all over the country and internationally to speak on mental health. Um, during my year, I actually became the first national ambassador for the National Alliance of Mental nice. Illness. Oh, so wow. I was able to talk about um, how people can get the help that they need if they have a mental disorder. Can I get to the real crux of the Oh, go ahead, yes. go ahead. All right, beauty pageants. How much work goes into prep preparation and going through the process. That's what everybody really wants to know because it's not easy. It's not easy. I mean, it can be a full-time job just getting prepared with what your wardrobe is going to be like for the week and interview is 40% of the score. So you really have to be on top of your game when you're going to speak in front of the judges. How do you prep for the interview? You don't know the questions beforehand, do you? You just study the history behind your platform and um, some different statistics that go along with it. And um, the national platform for the system is American Heart Association's Go Red for Women campaign. So we also studied a lot for that. Okay, now do you have a question? I asked you off camera if you could surprise us with some interview questions, just because I think that that's what people don't realize. I thought maybe you could ask Elizabeth a question. She is our beauty queen. She is our beauty queen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So the question I came up with is if you could be the ambassador of a charity for a year, what would it be and why? Ooh. Ooh. It's going to be dogs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's an animal lover, so you'll have the passion. But oh my gosh, this is so hard. You know, but, but that was the point, to show <laughs> how difficult yeah. it is. I mean, to be on this, for, you know, to not know that really is amazing. Yes. Good job, ladies. So if you want to check out Miss and Miss Teen International pageant finals happening this Saturday at the Times Union Center for the Performing Arts, we have all the information for you on our website, rivercitylivetv.com. Just click on the As Seen On section. We will be right back.